Hello friends, thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing with you an open collaboration that I am co-hosting with Lilo Crafts and Paper Confessions with Karamia. We are sharing our gratitude journals and we are using the hashtag gratitude journal. It is an open collaboration, so if you would like to join in, please do. We're gonna be sharing our videos on each Monday of the month of November. We do have some prompts and they are listed in my description box, but just in case you wanna hear them, week one was sharing gratitude with collage. Week two was make a two page spread and incorporate a belly band. Week three was use some fabric. And week four is crafter's choice. So this is week three and I am using fabric and actually right now what you're seeing me use is paper napkin i just want to get that onto the page but i am going to go ahead and get into the spread where i'm going to use some fabric in case you haven't seen my other two videos well actually three because i did a, a video where i sort of set this journal up and i sewed in the one signature and all of that good stuff but i want to mention to you that in this journal i am using a digital kit which was created by Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkle. And that kit will be listed in my description box. And I've combined that with Southern Living Magazine because that's such a homey magazine. And I felt like it would be fun to incorporate the magazine pages into this journal. This is my personal journal where I am sharing my personal gratitude feelings. And that magazine just it has a lot about home and family and I felt like that would just be neat to incorporate that and you can see on the left hand side is a beautiful print and that is one of the pages from Jennifer's digital kit the name of the kit is harvest blessings and you can see I'm flipping through a little bit of the pages here and you can see how pretty it is and like I said it's it's available on her Etsy shop but I'll go ahead and list that in my description box so you can just click the link and go over there and, and grab it if you love it. I want to mention to you guys, because I haven't mentioned it in a while, but I do have Amazon affiliate links in my description box. And a good way to support my channel is if you need to replenish any of your craft supplies, if you go through my links, it won't cost you anything extra, but they will give me a little kickback and that really would help my channel so you know it helps me to keep getting the supplies that i need to provide content and this is something i love to do and any little bit helps a lot all of that being said i know that some of you have used my links and i want to tell you how much i truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart i thank you I've grabbed this pretty piece of fabric. I absolutely love it. And I've glued it to the top of the page, but you can flip it up and then this can be a nice uh, sort of hidden journaling space if you'd like. Now I wanna go ahead and get into some of the ephemera. I do wanna mention that what you're seeing here, I shouldn't say ephemera, this is cut aparts, and this is from a digital kit that I created. And these are from my Autumn Spice Kit. That is available in my Etsy shop, and I will be sure to link that in my description box for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer that piece that I cut out on top of another piece of fabric. So we'll have three layers there, and I think that's gonna look really nice. Now I wanna tell you about the fabric that I'm using. This sort of a burgundy piece, that is actually the back side of a, um, what do we call it, uh, placemat. And the top piece of fabric, the really ornate one right there, that is the top of the placemat. So I'm using both pieces, but sort of in reverse order. <laughs> but they were just gorgeous placemats given to me by a friend, and I just think they are beautiful for fall and winter journal making. 
I've been using my hot glue gun a lot more lately and it works great on fabric. I would say equally as good as Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac is fantastic and once it dries you can't get it undone but the hot glue just seems to be really effective and efficient. Like Fabri-Tac takes a few seconds to dry and then when the bottle starts to get a little bit low it gets thick and weird and um, I'm just finding that I'm liking the efficiency of my hot glue. So you might notice that I am using that a little bit more while I'm creating things. Although I will tell you, I will always have a bottle of Fabri-Tac with me because sometimes I don't feel like turning my glue gun on or sometimes I don't feel like waiting for it to warm up. It doesn't take that long, honestly, but still sometimes if, especially if I'm just sitting down for a few minutes, I'm not going to turn my glue gun on for that. But when I'm sitting down to really get into some heavy creating, then I will do it. I used more of the burgundy fabric to create a pocket and you saw that I glued the edges around and that worked out great. And now, you know, I don't want to leave it plain, even though it gets covered, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add this acorn. And I think that is the perfect size for the pocket. I feel like the front could use a little more detail. So I've got some really cute ribbon or trim and you could see I used my glue gun. I put a strip of glue up there. I'm putting the trim on. I will cut the trim to size once the glue is dry. This trim was given to me in Happy Mail and I am so sorry. I cannot remember who gave it to me, but whoever you are, thank you, thank you so much. And if you want to, you can mention it in the comment section and I will be happy to tag you in the description box if you'd like. My gratitude for today is, I'm so thankful for the special moments that Amanda and I have almost every morning when I go to her room and plop down on her bed and we chat. And friends, that truly is such a highlight of my day for me. It, it just, it's a special moment that I share with my daughter and I know that that won't last forever because I know that she's not going to live at home for the rest of her life. So I truly cherish the time that we have together. Well, friends, thank you so much for coming here today for gratitude journaling. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the process. I hope you enjoyed hearing about some of my gratitude and I hope you will join us next week for our final uh, weekly sharing. Thanks for watching. See you soon.